हरे कृष्णा डोंट जस्ट हियर द माइंड माइंड व्हाट यू हियर हियर द माइंड मींस टू लिसन टू द इनर वॉइस ऑफ द माइंड एंड टू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली द माइंड ऑफन सेज कम ऑन एंजॉय दिस कम ऑन डू दैट कम ऑन लुक एट दैट कम ऑन ईट दिस सो द माइंड ऑफन प्रॉम्प्ट्स अस टू डू various things and quite often the mind prompts us to waste our time in petty things you know seeking small small pleasures and missing out on the big things in life because we are so caught in the uh, petty things that we uh, lose our we have no attention we have no time left for the big things in life the mind distracts us just like a child does not understand what is important and what is not important the mind often skews our sense of what is important and makes us waste our time on the trivial so if we just hear whatever the mind says then we will not be able to do important things in life but we will waste a lot of our time in trivial things and sometimes the mind takes us Uh, if we just hear the mind uncritically, then the mind prompts us to do not just petty or trivial things. It sometimes uh, makes us do dirty and injurious things. It prompts us towards sinful activities also. So if we, so there is a voice inside us, but that voice uh, of the mind, which prompts us from inside, is not something which we should hear uncritically or submissively. Don't just don't hear the mind. Rather, mind what you hear. Mind what you hear means. Here the word mind refers to uh, to be careful, to be to be discerning. So mind what you hear. That means be discerning about what you hear. So we hear various things from within. Uh, within there is the voice of God, but there is also the voice of the mind. So the Supreme Lord is present within our heart, and He speaks as inspiration. He speaks as conscience. But along with that, there is the voice of the mind also. so mind what you hear that means we have to evaluate carefully what we are hearing whose voice is prompting us and if we do not carefully evaluate this then we will be misled by the mind we will uh, now how do we mind what you hear that is to be, we have to have some reference point and that reference point is shastra so when we now of course we hear shastra through the words of guru and sadhu from the we learn shastra and its practical applications through those who are living according to shastra those who have molded their lives according to shastra they teach us how best to live according to shastra so we learn shastra from them and through shastra we get a, a we get a reference point by which to evaluate uh the inner voices when krishna speaks from within he generally speaks in harmony with the broad principles that he has taught in scripture as the mind of and he prompts us to do things which are in negligence of scripture and sometimes even in violation of scripture so to mind what you hear we need to regularly study scripture and after studying scripture we keep the message broad message of scripture in mind and after keeping the mind the message of scripture in mind then we look at whatever uh, the inner voice tells us and what the inner voice is telling if the inner voice tells us to do something which is anti scriptural then we uh, check and double check and then we check ourselves check means evaluate double check means evaluate again and then check means stop ourselves no we are not do this thing so if the mind is if the inner voice is telling us to do something which is according to scripture then we do it. so in this way we can actually apply the principle that krishna tells us in the bhagavad gita uddhare datmana atmanam natmanam avasadayet atmai vahi atmano bandhur atmai vari puratmanah so uddhare datmana atmanam elevate yourself with the mind and don't degrade yourself natmanam avasadaye atmai vahi atmano bandhur that the mind can be the friend of the mind and the mind can be the enemy of the mind also so just as sometimes <coughs> if a war is going on and at that time 
uh, some signals are coming through uh, the, the radio. Now how do we know whether the signal is coming from a friend or it's coming from an enemy? Now the signal is coming, usually there are some check codes. Then we can of course uh, see whether that particular person is speaking, uh, knows some password, knows some confidential code which are known only to the allies and not to the enemies. So just as there is a criteria in military to discern the voice of the enemy from the voice of the friend. Similarly, we need to have a criteria for discerning the voice of the mind from the voice of the Supreme Lord within. And that discernment comes by studying Shastra. So don't just hear the mind, that we don't think of whatever is spoken from inside that is actually uh, the voice of God telling me to do something. No, mind what you hear. We evaluate carefully whatever is the voice coming in and that which is according to Shastra, we accept that and that which is against Shastra, we reject that. And in that way we can make healthy choices and move towards success all around in our life. Thank you. Hare Krishna.